My father was a veteran of the Second World War, and he talked often about the profound impact those experiences had on his life. But it was my mother's stories that made an indelible impression. She would tell us about how her grandmother, when urged by the madam to run and return the hawker's vegetable basket, walked instead with measured steps and said, Mrs. Hold it as by me for me. To make others claim was in the home, but know that the groot is, hold it to me early. Madam, running has passed me by. When my children were small, I used to run, but now that they are big, I no longer run. After my trick, I pursued my studies at the University of the Western Cape and participated wholeheartedly in various student organizations. In 1976, I was detained for the first time by the security police in Belleville. During the 80s, I worked as a youth and community activist in Cape Town and Worcester, my hometown. Eventually, I heeded the call by the ANC of every patriot to become a combatant and every combatant to become a patriot by joining its Umkonto Vesizwe. In April 1986, I was arrested and eventually charged with having committed acts of terrorism against the apartheid regime. A year later, 13 of us were sentenced to prison. I got 12 years, but was released from Robben Island on 21st February 1991 after serving only three. The morning of my release, I got up early, even though I had packed my belongings into Cromco Apple boxes the previous day, mostly academic books and notepads and a sprinkling of clothing. After breakfast, I went to the various sections to say my last goodbyes. We were driven to the harbour area and boarded the Susan Kruger. We motored to Cape Town and I wondered what it would be like to be reunited with my family, where I would stay and what my future would bring. As we neared the jetty, I saw a huge crowd assembled on the quay. Walking towards the people, I recalled with pride the last time I had seen my mother standing in the gallery with a clenched fist aloft as we left court after being sentenced. And there she was now, pressed against the fence, waiting to embrace me. My boye, my boye, my boye, Africa, how a pele ama pasi si tuli in kuleko. My boye, my boye, my boye, Africa, how a pele ama pasi si tuli in kuleko. My boye, my boye, my boye, Africa, how a pele ama pasi si tuli in kuleko.